Island of the Magic Flute. It has been a wonderful run here at the El Portal. Uh, we've sold out four or five productions. We've run out of programs, so the judge may be more apologies for that. But if you want to see uh, the bios and everything, you can just go to our homepage, Pacific Opera Project, during the show. And uh, there's the full, the full program right there on the homepage. Uh, housekeeping first, we are recording. We're streaming out to the whole world today, so please take a moment and turn off your cell phones. You are welcome to take all the pictures and video you like. Uh, just don't annoy anybody around you and uh, post those everywhere you possibly can. We'll have one intermission about an hour in. The restrooms are right behind you and the bar is back that way. It's Sunday, but come on, it's a party. <laughs> uh, we've had two great, fantastic audiences this weekend, by the way, so you have a lot to live up to. I know it's daylight savings time, three o'clock on a Sunday, but, but bring it and show this, uh, this cat how much you love them. Uh, we'll get you out of here by six o'clock. And then you're all welcome to stay in Hope and Christ. <laughs> uh, after this show, uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but in four weeks, Pop will be back with another production, our most ambitious production of all time, Madame the Butterflies come in English and Japanese. Very exciting. That's that's About 40 people in that cast, 35 of which are Japanese American singers who will be singing in Japanese. Uh, it's going to be, if you've seen 100 butterflies, you've never seen a butterfly like this, I promise. So please get that on your calendar. It is already selling very well. We have three performances the first two weekends of April. Then we take the whole summer off, and then we come back in August with the Mikado, one of our favorite productions of all time. That'll be at the Evo Club for three weekends in August. And then in December, of course, La Boheme, a.k.a. The Hipsters, returned for our fourth revival of that production. Uh, thank you so much for being here. It's closing. I want to try to thank uh, everybody I possibly can, so just hold your applause and then a big round of applause for everybody and we'll get the show started. Uh, first, I want to thank our, our family of donors who make this possible. Uh, Pop has our two largest productions of all time back to back this spring. Thanks to our donors and our family. Uh, our board of directors, many of which are here today, who make all of that happen, and we are so thankful for them. Of course, the wonderful cast, the orchestra, uh, and uh, my good friend, Ed Vinius, the conductor who has been in town for this, and uh, E. Scott Levine, who you're about to love on stage, but uh, uh, there's a million other people, but I think that's enough for now. Please give a, a big hand for this orchestra and this cast, and enjoy the rest of the <laughs>
So this is the Mushroom Kingdom. I don't know what it's like in a high school. Mushrooms and Goombas. This place is nuts. So tell me, do you have any levers? Um, no. What, what about a moblin? No. Keys? No. Land molas? Like no. likes? No. What about a moldorn? No. Octorox? Tektites? No. No. What about Gibdus and Dark Nuts? Whoa, 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 whoa! This is a family show, Bob. <laughs> Don't tell me you came here looking for a little uh, prince and princess multiplayer action. Some uh, up, up, down, down, B A B A start, head to head. Let's go get it. All no, night. I, don't, I don't even know why I'm here. I'm supposed to be on a quest. <laughs> Who's in charge here? Well, that's not so clear at the moment. <laughs> it, it used to be Bowser and the Koopa Troopas, but uh, since the Queen of the Night has arrived, things are crazy. I'ma tell you. The Queen of the Night. Yes. Have you ever seen her? Seen her? No. No one has ever seen the queen. But what about this Bowser fellow? Where might I find him? Oh, no, no, Bowser. No. You won't see no Bowsers unless you go into the dungeons. But don't you worry. I'ma know how to defeat them. You do? Mm -hmm. The Triforce must be strong here. <laughs> Tell me. Was it you who defeated this creature? What creature? It was you! It was you! Yes! <laughs> With a brute force and an unstoppable courage. And your weapon. Thank you! How can I ever repay you? Well, maybe you could just begin. Ha ha ha! Uh oh, who are they? Uh, the Queen's ladies, or uh, Gerudos. They're here to collect my coins. Ladies, I'm sorry, I was just, I didn't know what I. Uh, this will teach you to lie to strangers, Papageno. Did you save him from that Koopa, Papageno? Uh -huh. Oh! <coughs> and who did, Papageno? You did. That's, That's right, Papageno. We saved you, and we brought from our queen. Take a close look at this portrait of the queen's daughter, Z I mean, Pamina. <laughs> and if it pleases you then, power, wisdom, and courage will, will be yours. Look, see, behold, Princess Pamina.
hearts, the queen knows that you are worthy. That a the queen, queen has chosen, chosen you, Tamina. To love Tamina. To protect Tamina. To care for Tamina. To, to rescue Tamina. Rescue her? Rescue her from what? An ape. A monkey. A gorilla. Zorastro Kong. <laughs>
No hands or feet, so uh, this could be classic. Where did you get this? Oh, uh, you wouldn't believe me if I told you. Try me. Well, I was out collecting coins this morning, and this uh, elf boy comes out of nowhere talking about Hyrule and rupees and whatnot. And before I know it, your mother's minions show up and uh, give him your portrait. And then, yeah, you know the rest. No. I don't. Well, he said, Arn, and he vowed to come rescue you no matter how many lives it took. But where is he? Oh, well, I, he went right and I went left. Because, well, uh, well that's, that's just the way I go. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I guessed right. <laughs> or, or left. You know what I mean. You're trying to tell me that he fell in love with me after only seeing a picture? That's ridiculous. No, 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 it can happen. Happened to me once. She had blonde hair, blue eyes, 
an hourglass figure, and she was wearing a, a pink frilly dress with short puffy sleeves. I never had the courage to talk to her, and before I knew it, she was gone. That was years ago, and I haven't seen her since. So you have no wife? Not even a girlfriend. <laughs> well, don't worry. You seem like a nice guy. And I'm sure you're in high demand. After all, everyone needs a plumber. <laughs>
seems to have done the trick. Perhaps I've climbed her up this vine. At last, Mormina will be mine. At last, at last, I'll find my darling bride. This food will be my guide. This fruit, this magic fruit will be my guide.
Kramer. Hi there. I'm the Poppercast host. You may know. Wait, wait, whoa. This other shit. And we are... Oh, okay. It's okay. Hey. This is Poppercast Rock and Roll live stream. Pop's Magic Flute Super Mario Brothers performance. And we are here. And we're lucky to have a couple of the, the stars of the show. We're just going to wing it. You know? And if this doesn't sound great, bear with us. We're still figuring it out. So first of all, let's bring in... Uh, well, we know we're going to do all three at once. You need to meet up. Come in here. Arnold. What's up? It's <laughs> Tomino Linkman here. <laughs> Papa Gano. Hey! Got, he's got Levine. Hey, it's true. And over in another corner, we've actually got Conductor Ed. Whoa! Hey, Mr. Guys. Ed Ben, right. yes. <laughs> Doing a beautiful job this afternoon. Great to work with you guys. <laughs> so I'm going to say, let's get one quick take on how the show is going for you. Like you're an athlete. You know, how's the show going for you? What are you looking forward in the, to in the second half, each one of you? Uh, Tomino, take it away. You know... I've been pacing myself, I've been doing the drills, weeks at a time, months at a time, I've done the research, it's going well. It's going well? Yeah. What, 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 what do we expect in the second half of your life? Oh man, magic. Magic flute. Mm -hmm. Magic ocarina? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, uh, same question for you, E. Scott. There's going to be a lot more mushrooms. Okay. <laughs> mushrooms. And if I'm lucky, I will find my, my beautiful princess. Oh. I all hope that uh, she, will, uh, she will come back. Are you, are you ready for whatever is going to happen to you? Anything that could come my way, we think we could face it. Uh, together? Together. Okay. Oh, I love that. Maybe. Um, and how's the orchestra? As long as it's easy. Okay. <laughs> as long as it's easy. <laughs> and how's the orchestra holding up? It's, uh, I don't want to jinx anything, but working with professionals, we've got amazing cast up there. We've done it five times. It's it's just uh, we're, they're all professionals. Fabulous orchestra, fabulous cast. It's like you yes. have walk in the park. And this Goomba here is a, a good guy. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love that he's got the kerchief with the tie yes. and the light colored jacket on dark. I feel like that is uh, only for the live stream. Pretty killer, man. <laughs> I, I think you might. Yes, you're right. Because otherwise, it's a Michigan sweatshirt. Yeah, you got it. Or Cleveland. No, just <laughs> see. Look at that. That face went like, nope, no. Um, thank you so much, guys. I know you gotta get back down. Do you remember how to get back down? Uh, we'll find out. Is there anything? Uh, oh, you know what? Let's each, each one of you. I go always go there. Oh, um, okay. nice. Is there anyone, anything you want to say to any people out there that might be watching? Oh, you're guys? having fun. Please continue to watch. There's a lot more in entertainment <laughs> in the second act. <laughs> awesome. And that's totally me. winging here. They're gonna that's climb me. back through the building and figure out. Thank that's you, everybody. And you know what? That's while we're up here. Let's give a, a quick hello to our, our team. Uh, that is executive producer Rob Webb over there, producer David Hobbs, and music man. My name's Rhea Rosky. I'm the intern, and I'm running super titles for the show. Yes, thank you. And then we have um, <laughs> Matthew. Is there a way you can hit the camera? I have no idea if I'm in focus, but this is Matthew the cameraman. In focus awesome. Enough. All right. And I'm assuming we're still on here for the moment. So a few things I'd like to say uh, to all of you. Hopefully this, the audio is, is okay here. But again, we are, we are winging. We are rock and roll. We've got the whole live stream uh, uh, beaming to you beautifully. I hope the sound is great as well with the actual show itself. But I just want to mention the team again. That's uh, Rob Webb, David Hobbs, uh, Matthew Ian Welch, and I'm Andreas Kramer. And I want to thank all of our beautiful, beautiful cast, all the people behind the scenes who work so, so hard to bring this amazing art to you. And we hope to keep on upping our game here at live stream. Uh, but we, it's our first time in a big theater. So we just had to connect all of it together and try to make it work. Um, do make sure to check out our, our Popper cast that is called Popper cast. It's on iTunes and other places where you can find podcasts. And this is uh, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart's Magic Flute as Super Mario Brothers done by E. Scott Levine, whom you just met. That's Papageno. And Josh Shaw wrote it together. Hopefully we'll try to catch up with you after the show with some more of the artists. Uh, but for now, all i got to say is enjoy the second half of the show, and hopefully I will see you afterwards. Take care.
eating the banana bread, Ren. <laughs> I declare today's assembly one of the most important of our time. Princess Pamina has been designated by the programmers <laughs> for the noble prince Tamino. Therefore, I have torn her from the side of her barrel-busting mother, who wishes to destroy our peaceful nation, our Banana Republic. <laughs> In order to secure our nation, we must teach Tamino the tenets of the Triforce. Power! Wisdom! And courage. You may bring in the elf and the plumber. <laughs> mm. I have come to free Pamina. And you shall. But first you must begin level one of the castle trials. Level one. Are you ready <laughs> to begin every test on the way to power, wisdom, I am. Will you uphold the vow of silence? <laughs> he means with Pamina. Oh, okay. <laughs> then yes. Very well. He is ready. Young. Will Pamino be able to contend with every ordeal that awaits him? He should. He still has one and a half hearts left. Young Prince, you will be led through a bunch of trials. <laughs> Things may go bananas once you begin. <laughs> Keep your eyes peeled for danger. <laughs> hey, never split from your partner. Okay, okay, thank you. The, thank the, the banana joke. Thank you, we get it, thank you. Talk about having a monkey on your back. <laughs>
trial. You are ready to embark on your... To continue on your trip. Under no circumstances will you... Beware of danger. Hey! May good fortune be with you. Hey! Wait, 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 wait! What did you just do? What were they saying? I just said A a bunch and I skipped all of that. <laughs> it usually works most times. Otherwise, you know, they can really hold up the flow and, you know, break up the action. Uh, don't you think it uh, might have been helpful to hear them out this time? Hmm. Maybe. Well, ask them to repeat. <laughs> Excuse me. How can we help you, princely elf? Yes, what did you just say? May good fortune be with you. Okay. <laughs> That's really not helpful. Uh, what about before that? Beware of danger that surrounds uh, you. This is pointless. Wait. I have an idea. You will now begin level one of the castle trials. You are ready to embark on your quest for the final prize. To continue on your journey, you must agree to risk your very lives. Under no circumstances will you be allowed past this point if you do not agree. To agree, select B. If you wish to give up and go it alone, select A. B! A. <laughs> B. You have chosen wisely. <laughs> Great rewards await you both. You will win the true desire of your heart if you survive the trial. Tamino, Pamina will be your prize. And what do you got for me? A nice spicy bowl of mushrooms? <laughs> As your final Lord, the Rostrokong has chosen a beautiful princess. Oh, a princess, eh? Oh, does she have blonde hair, blue eyes, and wear a pink dress? With frills. <laughs> Sounds promising. <laughs> What's her name? Papagena. Oh. Papagena. Does she have a last name? Peach. <laughs> Up again, a peach. Oh, boy. Okay, I'm in. Let's go. You will see Papa Gaina in level two. And you will see Pamina. Remember, you must keep silent under pain, pain of death. death. From this point, should you perish, you will always come back to this box. <laughs> Thank you.
tasting sweet temptation, you're a treat I can't resist. I am done with this flirtation. I am going to steal a kiss. I am going to steal a kiss. We're alone. No one to save you. Just I will enslave you. At last time I'm gonna win. At last time I'm gonna win. At last time I'm gonna win. I'm a 
worry, but I'm not gonna leave. <laughs> I know everything. <laughs> I'm so confused. I don't know who to believe. My mother wants me to kill you, but you seem like a great ape. <laughs>
Congratulations. <laughs> you have achieved a small victory in reaching level two. You may continue on your journey. A. <laughs> Sorry, force of habit. Excuse me, what direction? That way. Remember, you must uphold your vow of silence under pain of death.
Amina, but only to offer her a final farewell. I couldn't. You must.
is in another castle. I don't even care about that. At this point, I'd be content just to have a nice bowl of mushroom stew. You have no other wish? No. Then you shall have it. Heaven, 
cloud nine. Sky heaven cloud nine. Sky heaven cloud nine.
Bring my princess here, superstar keep wiggling. Bring my princess here, superstar keep wiggling. Bring my princess here. Bring her here, my princess here, my princess here.
stream for all of you was was flawless. Uh, I got to watch some of it and it looked really beautiful. Hope that it did for you too. The sound I think was amazing. This show was an incredible, incredible show. 
really, really fun. I'm actually seriously sad a little bit that it's the last one because I want to see more of them. But we're very lucky to start off our post post game, as it were, with the man himself, artistic director Josh Shaw. Josh, come on into the into the picture here. Let's move Hi this guys. this stool. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Uh, it went pretty well. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? Uh, Josh, so this is your first formal run of the Magic Flute, Super Flute, here in Los Angeles. How do you think it went overall? Oh, I'm thrilled. I'm thrilled. The cast, I mean, dream cast. So you heard them. If you're watching this, you heard them. I could not find a better cast in the country, period, uh, hands down. And I'm so thrilled with how it went. I also want to point out that, of course, the libretto was written by Josh and E. Scott Levine, who is your wonderful Papageno there. Papageno, uh, mm, we're not going to say the whole thing because of the copyright jokes. And we're going to have some actors coming in and out. We might have some people crossing camera. Listen, we did what we could to make this happen. Uh, Josh, if there's one thing you'd like to leave everybody with for the next show coming up, Madame Butterfly, what would you like them to know? Oh, just get ready. Something totally different, but just as unique as this show. Please uh, come to the show, and we'll see you about a live stream. You never know. I think it's going to happen. Thank you, Josh. Uh, okay, did you want to cross in front here, Carson? Sure. Okay, good. This is Carson. <laughs> Assistant Director, the man extraordinaire glue. We're going to kind of bring some actors on in here. We're doing a little bit of punk rock here in the control room with, with the whole team. I want to remind you that it's Rob Webb, uh, executive producing, and behind sort of all of the, all the magic, really, David Hobbs uh, doing the audio. And I should mention that the half the halftime thing that we tried to do was a total just punk rock and roll. Um, but David Hobbs is here, Matthew Ian Welch behind the camera, and also every team member is doing something for all of it. Just like this wonderful cast, I, I have to say I've got to spend some time with them backstage and, and in person in our popper casts. They're really, really beautiful, wonderful, magical people inside and obviously vocally out as well. So why don't we start off here with, you want to do, you want to do, want to do okay, so we do pairs? Yeah. Okay, great. Oh my gosh, they're friends again. It's mother and daughter. <laughs> Pamina, which, and, and of course the queen, Michelle yeah. Drever, and, um, uh, oh my gosh, last Pamina. name, Shoni. Oh, Shoni, yeah. There we go. Shoni. Okay, so ladies, if I could ask you for um, what your favorite part of this experience was, we'll just go in line here. Okay, my favorite part of the experience, well, honestly, it was the concept. It, for backing, backing up, okay. It was the concept. It blended so seamlessly, and I like to say that Mozart, I don't know, I think maybe he knew how well it would work, you know, how well these things would line up, and, you know, all the little, you know, shout-outs to Nintendo and games and pop culture just a wonderful way to bring opera and uh, pop culture together. Yay. Yay! How about you, Pamina? Uh, I think my favorite part about this was we had an incredible group of colleagues working together to make this happen. Opera is a team sport, mm -hmm. and we got really lucky. No bad apples in this bunch. I guess nasty bananas. <laughs> That was totally in line with the bad pun theme. I, I suppose you really did get your dad's jeans on that one, didn't you? Thankfully, I didn't get his hair. <laughs> <laughs> or my skin. <laughs> or my skin. Right. It looks kind of flawless to me, Michelle, I oh think. Oh, really? Yeah. Thank you. The queen uses oil of Olay and Estee Lauder. <laughs> what can I say? Yes. If you're watching those two companies you just mentioned, Poppercast is definitely interested in a sponsorship for our Absolutely. cast. Absolutely, yes. And free samples for the <laughs> ladies. And the men. Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> Thank you. That's so inclusive. Yeah. That's so inclusive. So uh, maybe let's say one more thing. If there is something you would be looking forward to the show doing, do you feel like this show is the kind of show that can travel? Would you like to see more people see it? Oh, yes. Yes. I think th th I, 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 a bigger budget, a bigger everything. I think everyone needs to see this. I think this is how you make opera accessible. I think this is how you um, introduce people to this art form. I mean, uh, my family who came to see it, doesn't really know a lot about opera, didn't really play a lot of Nintendo. They were entertained from start to finish by, of course, the magnificent singing and the incredible musicians, but just how well it was written and how well it was performed. So, yes, somebody, this needs to be performed all the time, all the ways, all the hows, all of it. Yes. If you're hearing that out there, take note and help us out here. Let's get it going. Somebody do this show, buy this show, do it. You must. The queen just... I like commanded <laughs> you to <laughs> do that. <laughs> Maybe I'm going to go back over to Pamina here, who's a little gentler. How about your thoughts? I think that um, I smile from start to finish when I'm doing this show, uh, and I think that anybody who comes to see it will, too. So get ready for some, some hurdy but happy cheeks. Yes! And these are two also newcomers to pop. Yes. 
and we're so happy to have them. I, I was just blown away by their voices and really, really surprised at what you two did with the parts. And we can talk about that in our personal time later, but such, such a pleasure. Uh, definitely cried, as we might know from live streams, I am a crier, and I definitely cried when they, when they sang. So thank you both again so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much. I really didn't mean to be violent like that. Sorry. She's saying she didn't mean to, but she's going to beat me up later. Yeah, exactly. Okay, we'll see you later. Thank you so much. All right, and now, now that we've had uh, mother and daughter, we have, yes, you see the camera being raised. There's a reason for that. Here comes the man himself, Zarastro Kong, with whom we are now on. You see? Hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> Literally hi. If you can't see my head, it's okay, because he's more important than I am. He has great hair, though, doesn't he? It's just like from here up, it's wonderful. That's really cool. I always do wonder if taller people, if I'm, if I have anything going on that I'm not knowing up here. But, but thank you, Andrew. It's very nice. It's very nice. <laughs> Andrew, what was your uh, favorite part of this whole experience? Oh gosh, all of it. I mean, that's that's a super cliche answer, mm -hmm. but truly, this has just been a joy. I love working with Josh Shaw. I love working with Pacific Opera Project. Uh, these guys are fantastic. I love the idea of reimagining opera and making opera approachable for all audiences and all ages, because uh, I think that that's largely the future of our craft. And so uh, this is this has truly been a laugh out loud joy from from day one. In our sing through, I was yeah. belly laughing, yeah. and I never stopped belly laughing. Uh, I stood in the wings and laughed at some of the same jokes that we've been hearing for a month now, and uh, it's just it's just it's a joy. Now, I have to say that as an audience member, I experienced that knowing when certain jokes were coming was actually harder for me not to laugh. Did you as an actor have the, have the thing where you had to really calm yourself down when you knew a joke was coming that you wanted to laugh at? Not really, uh, <laughs> because we're, we're so in our character uh, on stage at the moment that, that there's never this certain thing is coming. It really, we, we strive as artists to allow things to be fresh each and every time. And with this cast, I mean, you know, these guys, Scott Levine and Arnold, and this, everything is fresh every single time. You never know when there's going to be an ad lib, ad lib line that's thrown in, uh, aside from the, the regular script that, that we received. And so truly, it really is a moment-by-moment -moment experience. So there's never this kind of feeling of, oh, this is coming. That is such a cool point, and, and something I love as an actor to see with Pop is that the actors really are actually taking it fresh moment by moment, yeah. and still respecting, of course, the craft, because, hey, let's all say the singing in this show was incredible, and uh, how does it feel to be surrounded by other you know, peers of yours whom you can just enjoy their art? Oh, I love it. This is, this is my life. You know, I, I'm blessed. I get to leave here. I'm, I'm here for another few days, and then I head to Anchorage Opera. So my life is, is surrounded by amazing artists like you just saw that are constantly creating uh, moment by moment every single show is a little different little different little different vibe different energies we feed on different energies from the audiences that come in and of course every single crowd is completely different uh, so truly uh, I never thought I would say this standing in a Donkey Kong costume <laughs> but I'm, I'm absolutely living my dream this is wonderful amazing Andrew, thank you so much for your time, man. Congratulations on a great show. I know we'll see you again down the road, and, and I'm sure you and I will, will catch up in person soon. All right. Thank you, my friend. All right. Uh, another special set of special guests. We're gonna, I'm going to look. I'm going to peek my head up here. <laughs> I'm a little bit low in this shot. And we have, speaking of low, we have some beautiful little toad spirits coming our way. I think they're going to. Are you going to hop and skip in with your little sounds? They're so cute. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, we're going to back up. We're doing our best. I'm going to lean like I'm, I'm at a bar with these amazing different kinds of toads. Got mustaches, <laughs> pink, pink hair, and then I love these pants. The whole time I noticed the pants. Really good. So each of you, uh, first let me just say that if you heard the Popra cast with these three on, uh, it, it, some of it was hard to understand because it was just so fun. We were all laughing so hard. They all came dressed up the same way unintentionally. <laughs> They were wearing like the same clothes. And you get to see on the stage, I'm sure you just saw it, but there's real camaraderie with the three of you. That is so adorable. And they're the guide spirits. So, so why don't we take a second each and just talk about something that you really particularly enjoyed about your journey with this show, whether it's you know, with, your, with your trio here or even with your other actors or just pop itself. Ooh, um, that's, a, that's, a, that's tough to answer. There's it's so a doozy. <laughs> There's so many things. Um, this is my fourth time working with Pop, and every time the cast, the whole crew, everyone is just so much fun to be around that I 
never want it to end because it's just a great community. It really is a family. Um, and it's really fun to be our character because we just get to be goofy. Goofy, goofy. <laughs> we can change it up every night. And it's just, you're really free to have so much fun. Mm -hmm. So much fun. Awesome. <laughs> Um, yeah, I really enjoyed getting to know these ladies. Um, I think from day one, we just really clicked, and we were always kind of thinking the same thing. We went out for, like, five hours and hung out between rehearsal, <laughs> um, and we just really had a great time, and the friendship and camaraderie has been incredible. And the freedom we had to play, yeah. you know, to create our characters and bring them to life, it's incredible to bring a, a character <laughs> that you just see on the screen yeah to life to live it it's 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 an experience that just can't be compared what a cool point you're you're actually i mean as far as we know the first people to ever play the toads yeah. as yeah. as it were so you're really the the bar is set there for all all actors in acting school and opera singers from now on they'll they'll dream of being oh i want to be amanda i want to be christine i want to be emily but you can't be because that's them okay all right uh christine how about you um as a lighthearted answer, I really like the mustache, which has a <laughs> life of its own and gets commented on every night. <laughs> um, but really, I love that Pop is so creative and it's just such an interesting and, I don't know, like a wonderful overall take on flute, which, you know, so many people do it all the time. It can get old. And this was awesome. I had so many friends come and say that they've never enjoyed another magic flute the same way. And it just makes it so relevant to, you know, people who grew up in the 80s and 90s and even now. So it was really nice to be a part of something like that. Yeah, speaking of relevance, I think that uh, you all really help a certain thing that I'm going to speak about now, which is the, that the children, who are, there are children out there who are so excited to see this show. If you check out my Facebook or Instagram, I have pictures of my friends who live on the East Coast, and their kids are just enraptured. They're standing They're in like front of the TV screen. going, oh my gosh, I can't <laughs> believe this is happening, and they want to watch it over and over. So we're hoping there's a DVD that they can... <laughs> Did you hear that, folks? We also need now to produce a DVD. So we've got the we've got the touring show, we've got the DVD coming. We're gonna up our live stream game. So if you're out there and you're connected, help pop out. We want to make this happen, make it bigger. That's what we're doing with the opera here. Thank you, ladies, for your input and for everything you gave to the show. It was so Thank fun. You. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> so awesome. Okay, well, we're gonna keep the train going here, as it were. Uh, now, out of costume, the next two gentlemen are. But uh, I think you're going to recognize them from their, well, one of them, the dry sense of wit, and uh, the other one, just that, that beautiful, rich, you were just like very pure. Uh, well, why don't you come on here? I'm not going to look off camera anymore. Come on over, guys. These are, these are priests, men in armor, really Diddy Kong and uh, Donkey Kong Jr. Uh, that is Joshua Alarcon. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, perfect. I am half Latin, so I do the Alex Trebek thing with everything. Uh, and, of course, uh, Jonathan Matthews. So, guys, um, we're going to bunch together here. Hi. Hi. He's <laughs> a handsome man right there. Um, they're a little bit taller, too. So, guys, um, now you had roles that traditionally are just sort of throwaways, I think, a little bit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, they are. So let's call it like we see it here. But I think that what you two brought was really, really fun. And every time you guys came on stage, I totally looked forward to it. Uh, because you had very, very actual, like, from an acting perspective, stories going on for yourselves. <laughs> I'd love to know what the story was. The straight man to whatever he was doing, basically, because, <laughs> yeah, it was hard to keep up with him sometimes, most of the time, so that's that. Which is funny, because I just stood there not making faces. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That was my acting yeah. choice. <laughs> this man is a genius. No, I actually, uh, so the first day of rehearsal, uh, so we uh, had our first read on, like, Monday, three weeks ago or whatever, and uh, I just read it like a normal human being, and... <coughs> I do a lot of voiceover work, and, and I just thought, like, this character is already boring. Like, I need to do something with it. And then I thought, like, stereotypical gorilla would be, like, the dumb guy in, like, Ninja Turtles or, you know, these old 90s TV shows. So I asked Josh the next day, not this Josh, but Josh Shaw. So many Joshes. I know. Josh. I said, can he be dumb? He said, eh, show me what you got. And so then I started talking like this, but slowly. And he liked it. It's so I went with it, and then I could do stuff like scratching my belly, and I picked my nose at one point that like nobody even saw except for the orchestra. But well, I, I think that actually uh, some of us out there do notice little things like that, <laughs> and and also it should be said that I think the duet was pretty flawless. Um, how how 
how was how was that to sing up there uh, in those costumes, to wow. take all of that that serious? Because it's a pretty serious duet. It's a very important duet. Did you just like stay in character and rock it out? But v vocally, was it was it a fun duet? And to be in those costumes, was that all kind of a fun thing? Oh yeah, yeah, so much fun, especially when um, when we're doing octaves for that one yeah, piece. Corral, I have the easiest job in the world. I just sing under this guy. <laughs> well, and on that point, so we've been wearing these like thick, like she used down to make us fatter, like. You know, I've already got some down myself, but, <laughs> but, uh, and so like at that point in the show, we've been wearing these monkey suits for like two hours and I could just feel the sweat just rolling down my back and we get off stage and we're like, oh, yeah. but it was a lot of fun because it was, it was interesting because Ed, the first rehearsal says, I hate this piece. We're taking it in two, <laughs> which for those that don't know music, that means they're taking it twice as fast. And so usually it's really long and slow, and you can hear the, you know, Bachian counterpoint, and he's just like, no, we're not doing that. <laughs> and so it, it is faster, which yeah. I guess made it more fun. I don't know. It is a nice moment, and I, and I think it, this is a thing that probably only actors would know necessarily, which is that those, those little moments are so key for an audience's enjoyment, because if you don't enjoy that little moment, all of a sudden you're thrown out of this reality that's been created, so you have to be a very strong actor, and I, I'm a guy who's, I play a lot of character roles, and little little bit things where I had to hold it together for that five minutes, and, and it's it's really key, and I think you guys did an amazing job. Oh, thank you so yeah. much. So if there was one thing that uh, you want, you took out of this, this experience, um, being with Pop and this kind of show, what would it be? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Go no pressure. Yeah, I know. Uh, I would just say that, uh, you know, uh, there was a time in, like, undergrad, and maybe my master's, like, I've got bachelor's, master's, doctorate in vocal performance. There was a time when I was a super opera snob and I would have seen this and gone like, yeah, it works, but it is not pure opera. But now I'm just like, whatever, anything that gets them to the opera is great. And so, you know, we, we almost doubled the audience tonight with the live stream just because of the concept. And so I, you know, I have a much better appreciation for the pop, you know, like introducing pop culture into opera to try to get more crowd you know, to see it and see that, like, this actually is something that you can enjoy. That's an excellent point. Mm -hmm. yeah. And especially, you know, as a person who has been in the game for a long time, to be able to say, hey, even I approached it this way. I, I was a snob about it. And now you get to work with a group where you say, it's kind of important for people to come and see this stuff so they can know what's happening and, and it's relevant. Mm -hmm. How about you? Oh, yeah. Um, going off what he said, the accessibility is incredible. Um, video game offer, so crazy, but so fun, and it brings so many people in. Um, it's awesome to see that so many talented and like w oh, just wonderful people can one exist, but th can also <laughs> come together and be a part of this crazy, funky show. Absolutely. And um, yeah, it's just awesome to be a part of in general. That's a great point too. Top to bottom, it's like my, that. My only complaint was oh. there were no Metroid references. That's true. Josh. Next iteration, <laughs> Samus Aran yeah. somehow pops up. There's no girls in the chorus, so kind of. This is a good point. Samus is a female, a very strong woman, and should be there. Absolutely. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for your time. You, and if you didn't check them out on the, on the Popper cast, make sure to check out their episode. I think that that's episode number, number 17, oh, you we're guys. The first of three, yeah. You're the first of, of this. Oh, okay. right. uh, wait, no. Listen, yeah, okay, you're number one. Fine. All right, you win, both of you. Thank you. Thanks, guys. We'll see you soon, okay? Thanks. All right. See you soon. All right. Okay, I'm not sure if we have any more actors out there. I'm going to take a second and look to my left here and see if we've got anybody. Yes, we got more actors. No, no. We have to. He's being told he has to. <laughs> Anybody? No? Okay, we're good. Oh, that's producer Rob giving me the no there. <laughs> Folks, thank you so much for being with us. This was truly an amazing show. Rob, oh, Rob, say hi. Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> They've really put their heart and souls into this, Rob and Matthew Ian Welch and David Hobbs. Um, so on all of our behalves, I uh, just want to say thank you for watching again. Please do leave comments as to how you felt it all went, what you'd like to see in future uh, versions. We are working really hard to make this the best experience possible and to bring this opera, as Jonathan and Joshua were just talking about, to really to the rest of the world. So uh, let's talk about thanking the orchestra. Amazing. I wish we'd have been able to get Conductor Ed up here. Uh, we did at halftime, but I'm not sure. Intermission, of course. I'm a sports fan. Uh, but I'm not sure if the audio uh, came through correctly. And uh, the work that Josh did uh, behind the scenes, we've got the board of directors. We've got all of our pop family, our donors, uh, and our new guests. Let's keep this going. We're bringing opera back and making it relevant and making it fun. On behalf of the whole team, I just want to say, Good day, good night, and good life. I'm Andreas Kramer, and I will see you at the very next 
live stream. Catch the podcast at poppercast.com. Good night.